All right, here we go. Lesson three. Made it this far. Congratulations. Um, so a quick review of the last lesson, lesson two. Uh, high card points, uh, uh, a common way to evaluate hands um, it's to try to help determine how many tricks you might be able to get is to count aces for four, kings for three, queens for two, and jacks for one. I will emphasize again, this is not an exact science. It's just an evaluation tool. And that's what we're going to start with. Uh, to build our, our foundation to get our bidding going. The bidding ladder starts at one club, um, which is really like saying you're, you're going to get seven tricks because we start out, there's 13 tricks. We start out thinking we're going to be able to get six. If we open our mouths, we think we're going to get the majority. So uh, we're hoping we will. So it goes one club up to seven no trump, uh, saying that we're going to get all 13 tricks. All right. Uh, bidding boxes, which are just basically online with your <laughs> little, with your bids. And there's three basic types of opening bids, a five card major, which we did in lesson two. So if we open hearts or spades, we promise five plus cards in the suit. Uh, no trump, uh, which we're going to cover uh, the next two lessons in depth, uh, 15 to 17 high card points, uh, no singleton, no voids, um, and uh, generally not a five card major and no more than one doubleton, but we'll talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of that over time. And then miners are absolute last choice to open, but we do want to tell partner we have some points and we'll open up our longer miner. Uh, we don't play that we promise five cards in the miner. Uh, there are only 13 cards that we get dealt, so you're not always going to have a five card suit. So, but we do play that we promise five if we open hearts or spades. So, uh, so this lesson we're going to focus on opening a miner. Um, it is our, our last choice from a point scoring perspective because it's only 20 points per trip, but we do need to uh, talk about it as little as I don't want to. <laughs> anyway, we, we need to. So opening a minor, um, it's similar in, in to opening a major um, in that we don't promise as many. Usually we're gonna have four cards in the minor at least, um, but you aren't always gonna be dealt that. Uh, but you will have the same um, you know, opening hand so you have 12 or more high card points is again what we're going to use to get started here. And then um, and then we um, you know we'll open up our longer suit. Okay. Um, so that's we open up our longer club or diamond if we don't have a five card um, minor or five card major. Sorry. So um, new suit, respond your bids a new suit. It is only promising four. So just again, like lesson two, if the responder bids a different suit. Whether it's a major or minor, it does only promise four. Um, rebidding a suit, uh, we play that if you ever rebid a suit, uh, majors or minors, I play that that promises a six card suit. Okay. Um, and skipping over a suit, uh, let's say uh, by responder, will um, deny most of the time, it denies a four card in that suit. Okay. Uh, what is a fit? Similar to what we talked about last week, an eight card major, an eight card fit. Is, a, is considered a fit. Seven is a majority. And sometimes you will end up in a seven card fit with you and your partner, um, but you typically are looking for an eight card fit. Your seven and six card fits, um, you're gonna, you're usually gonna try to end up in no trouble, all right? So what is support? It really depends on if partners open to a, a major or minor, okay? Um, so, uh, so we got an example here, one diamond uh, by opener, one heart by responder, two hearts by opener. In this case, the opener must have four hearts because the responder is only promised for. They could have more, but they uh, have four hearts in the sequence most of the time, all right? <laughs> uh, denying support is if you don't support it, okay? If you don't, if you don't bid it. So in this case, this example here, one diamond by opener, one heart by responder, one spade by opener is saying, I don't have four hearts, but, I do happen to have four spades and it's possible responder still might have four spades because the way the responder does it is they bid up the line. So what we mean by that is if they had both four hearts and four spades, they would bid, um, they would bid one heart, all right? There is an exception to that. Of course, you're gonna get a little frustrated with the exceptions. <laughs> and I think it, uh, it, is, uh, 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 it is talked about later. Uh, all right, then I, I, I don't see it. Oh, all right, yeah. The um, so anyway, if you go, if you happen to have five spades and four hearts, you would actually bid the spades first by responder, 
and then come back to hearts later if you have an opportunity. Then you'll be promising five spades, okay? Uh, but in general, you'll be denying a four card suit if you go past it, um, but not always. All right, okay, so, um, so responder, uh, just like, you know, always they've only, if responder only promises six high card points, um, and if they don't have six high card points, we, we would like for them to just pass and say, okay, I don't have much for your partner. If you force me to bid or you keep bidding, maybe I'll join the party later, but I want to let you know that I don't have much, all right? I have less than six go. But if you do bid, it's forcing my opener to bid again because you're showing six or more high card points. You could have 16. So, um, all right, but the, the point here was to bid up the line if you have um, four hearts and four spades. Um, oh, this is where it goes. Okay. However, if you bid your longer suit first, um, this would show that five four I was looking for, it, and there it was right there in the next point. Our opener is saying he has 12 plus high card for you open, at least three diamonds, but not six, or he would, could have bid them again, and three or more, uh, three or fewer spades, um, you know, because of the spades here, if they would have bid him the second time. So, um, but this is how you'd show five spades and four hearts. You bid the spades, act like you're denying four hearts, come back to hearts later would show five spades and four, four hearts, okay? And actually, if you could even be showing five, five, uh, but that's a, a rarity, but it sometimes will happen, okay? And you're gonna have a couple, a uh, few extra points because you are bidding twice. You must assume the responder only has four spades until you find out more information, okay? So in this case, you found out partner only had five, so you, you go into the assumption they only have four, all right? So those are a couple of the nuances I want to say, but just remember as responder, you go up. All right. All right. So you go up the line when you're responding. Okay. Um, opener and responder are trying to find an eight card shared fit, eight card uh, suit, shared suit, uh, preferably a major. Uh, I will emphasize that time and time again. <laughs> and so does Jim Ricker in his handouts in his book. All right. So we're looking for an eight card major fit is really the, one of the primary functions of our, our first few bids, okay? Is to figure out that. And if we do have one anytime, then we wanna figure out how high do we wanna go? So that's where the points become important, okay? So um, just like opening a, it's 12 to 19, but a five card major, but opening a minor is generally gonna be this 12 to 19 point range without a five card major, okay? So here it goes with the responders Responders bids, again, would be less than six. Um, your first priority if they open a major would be to support, you only need three cards in support. Um, you can support a minor uh, with only four, but that would also be denying a four card major. So we would wanna look for the four card major and then potentially go back to the minor, okay? Uh, with three a partner suit, um, you could bid three a partner suit if it's you know the major you know you could you could jump to the three level, the minor you know you want to have at least four if not five, uh, bid one of a new suit with six high card points and two or less in partners major, and then one no trump will actually have different meanings for over a minor and over a major so get ready for that. <laughs> All right, and then open our second bid is real similar okay to you know to the last lesson, um, you can support you know, the responder's new suit, but you need to have four card support because the responders only promise you four. You can rebid your suit again with six or more cards in the suit. Or, you know, neither one really, you could go to no Trump saying, hey, we don't have a fit, <laughs> but um, let's, um, you know, we might be able to end up in no Trump because we don't have a suit contract that's gonna bode too well for us, okay? So uh, miners, um, you don't you don't promise five. You actually only promise three. Um, most of the time you'll have four, but not all the time. Once in a while you're going to have a three card suit, and um, partner needs to be aware of that. But either way, um, the responder, like I said, will will mention a, a a four card major suit because partner could have a four card major, the opener of the minor. Um, so we try to go for that first. And then we either go back to no trump or we can always go back to the minor later if, if need be. If you support the minor or go to no trump, you're denying a four card major, okay? All right, so here we go, let's get started. So the first hand we have here 
is our partners open one diamond. All right, so they open one of a major. So I want you to think to yourself what you'll bid. Um, again, I just love this. You know, it shows what the bids mean. Okay, and if I wanted to figure out if I had the right bid, um, I'm gonna bid one spade here. I have six or more high card points and four or more spades. Okay, so I'm gonna bid a spade and we'll see what happens. Okay, partner must have uh, four spades because uh, we only promised four. So that looks like our spot. Partner looks to be low end of opening bid. So we're just gonna, um, we don't really have any chance at game. So we're just gonna pass, all right? So partner, uh, partner supported us with three, uh, which I said they weren't supposed to do, but they felt, I guess, a little bit stuck. So they decided to bid there. Um, they did have a tough rebid, I will admit. But um, anyway, we do only want to support with four here uh, because partners only promised four. So we are in a seven card fit. <laughs> All right, that was kind of funny. All right, next. All right, so kind of high card points up to three plus seven more is 10 plus 14. And we're gonna open up our longest minor. So we're gonna open up a diamond. And partner bit of heart. So partner is showing us four more hearts and six or more points. I'm gonna probably say this until I turn blue in the face because for whatever reason, I get a lot of people confused with this bid. They seem to think, you know, they go back and go, oh, it promises five hearts. It does not promise five hearts. They may have five hearts, but it only promises four hearts, four more hearts and six more points. That's it. So they can't have 15 points. They can't have five hearts. They can have six hearts. Who knows what they have, but this is all it promises. So we only will want to support here with four or more. We do happen to have four spades and partner could actually still have four spades. They have not denied that yet. So we want to let them know about that. And they're jumping now on hearts, showing a whole bunch of hearts. Uh-oh. So that shows uh, pretty close to an opener and six or more hearts. So we have an option here. Um, pass is <laughs> always an option. Uh, three no trump, uh, four hearts. I'm gonna go with three no trump and see what partner says. We typically like to have, um, you know, two in partner's suit here, but I did not, all right? So, um, This uh, parts, you know, we have seven, probably would have played a little bit better in a suit contract. So um, could have either passed or bid uh, four hearts. So, but anyway, um, made a judgment call. Looks like it might've been the wrong one. All right, so we're gonna go on to the next one and I'm gonna open it up so we can see all of them on the next one. And we'll go from there. All right. So four, eight, we don't have enough to bid. So the West hand opened up a diamond, okay? So they do have the 12 or more high card points and they open up their longest minor, which was diamonds. And the responder bid one spade showing six or more points and four or more spades and probably denying four hearts. I'm gonna pass. Uh, they're gonna go to two spades to support. support. They're gonna kind of show a double fit here and they're gonna end up in four spades. So this ended it really close to opening. Um, so they decided to go to game. Generally we have opening hand versus opening hand. It'll get you to enough points to make game. They found an eight card major fit and they're gonna go for it in four spades. I wish them luck. <laughs> Good luck robots. All right, next one. One club over here, 7, 11, 12, high card, you know, a couple of long suit, a couple of short suits, and their longest minors clubs. This hand has six or more points. So they're going to respond in their major to try to search for an eight card major fit. This hand says no way. They re they bid their clubs again, uh, which we play. I play as promising a six card suit. I do it for minors as well as majors. Otherwise, I would just have this hand bid a no trump if they only had five. Okay, and then this hand is gonna go to no trump and they're really close to going to three no trump, but wants to find out what partner has over there if they're low end or high end and they were actually low end, I would have passed two no trump, but they decided to bid three clubs and there they're gonna sit. Because actually scoring wise, if they make three clubs, it'll be 110 points. 
um, in duplicate scoring, and it'll be um, 120 if they make two no trump for one less trick. Or if you're doing rubber bridge, it would be 60 below the line or 70 below the line. So it's 10 more points if they can make the no trump. Uh, and then if they can make another trick, even that would be even a better story for them. So, um, all right. So we're going to go to the next hand. And here we go. Partner, open a spade. Okay, so 510. What's our bid here? Do you guys remember? This is three of partner suit and 10 plus in the suit. Okay. So once we find our fit, we try to be, try to find out how high. Okay. So um, we have found our fit. I know we found a fit. I need to tell partner that and I need to communicate how many points we have. I have. So I'm going to bid three spades, which will show that 10, 11, 12, and four in support. The partner's going to pass like a coward. <laughs> All right. So anyway, that's a limit raise. A partner can pass. They could have, um, um, they can have that, um, you know, really marginal open, we'll call it, okay? And so they decided to pass. And we'll, uh, we'll wait and see what happens here. We'll see if they make three or four. Like I said, I, I called the robot a coward, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, we did only have 10 high card points, but we had a singleton club, which is usually going to be beneficial in a suit contract because you can trump the second round. So a lot of us will count that as like three points, counting it like a king if it's in us if we find our fit. So um, our partner is going to easily make, they should have been in game. So they're, I, I justly called them a coward. All right. Um, so. We will go on to the next one. Oops, try to go on to the next one. All right, so to our right, they passed. We're gonna pass. And to our left, they open a club. This looks really similar to a couple hands ago. <laughs> open a spade showing six or more points and four or more spades. Actually, it's six to 11 now because they are a passed hand, okay? So just to, it's not actually technically forcing anymore because they are a limited hand now because they did pass earlier, okay? So uh, two clubs, which is similar to four, two no trump. And then this hand's gonna decide to go to three no trump this time. All right, so there they go. They made it to three no trump this time. All right. Here we go. Uh, next hand, eight, 10, and um, balanced hand. So we're just going to pass. They open a club. Uh, actually, this is inverted minors, which we don't go into yet. So that's showing more points. Um, and they're trying to find no Trump, which I am a fan of. And they did find three no Trump. Okay, so they did have club support. They did not have a four card major that bid denies that and they ended up in three no Trump. All right, so we're going to go back. And then we'll take a look at this last one for today. All right, pass, pass, pass to us. We got 12, 13, and we don't have a five card major. We don't even have a four card minor. <laughs> so this is the one hand actually that you'll only have three diamonds. The only combination that you'll ever have three diamonds because we typically, if we have three clubs and three diamonds, will open clubs. So this is the only time that this would ever have a three card diamond suit. So partner has shown that and we'll just pass. Okay. So there we go. All right. So um, we ended up in three diamonds. And um, so just a, a quick review. Um, if you would like me to email you these handouts, um, you know, uh, put it in the comp uh, below or you can you know, reach out to me to email them back to you if you'd like to have the handouts from these lessons. Um, so um, hopefully you've been following along with the at-home study program and, and, take, and, and practicing the hands. If you want, if you wanna go into practice some more, um, uh, you, you know, we've been working on doing the bridge master hands and I'd like for you to still keep working on that, but you can also just move into solitaire and just play a few hands here as well. 
The advantage like we've been talking about um, with when you play with the robots is you can hover over the bids. And I think this is a great teaching tool, okay? So you're able to um, go ahead and say, okay, what would one club be? And it would be just exactly what we just talked about, okay? Um, I have opening hand, uh, my longest minor is clubs, and um, I can tell partner that with this bit, okay? So you can always hover over, what does each bid mean? If we move to hearts or spades, it would be a five card heart suit or a five card spade suit. So this would be, um, so we'll, we would just open a club. And again, just to show you how to get there, okay? It would be from the homepage on Bridge Base Online, uh, go to solitaire and just play bridge for free, all right? So if you wanna work on that for the ne next uh, lesson, uh, just to play some that way, um, please do that. And if you have any questions, ask them below. Uh, reach out to me and I, I can help you in your journey. All right. So thanks for joining us. And um, this was lesson three, uh, chapter five in, in the Jim Ricker uh, Beginning Bridge book. And so next week, our next lesson, I keep saying week because that's how I used to do it live. <laughs> I don't know how, how soon you're going to be joining with me or not. So you could be trying to binge watch these. I don't know. Um, but anyway, that will be um, uh, actually, I'm not sure. It's chapters. Uh, actually, I think it's chapters six through nine. But I'll put that in the in the comments below as far as what chapters. But it's definitely at least for sure the next chapter. And we're going to spend uh, two lessons on no trump opening bids, and we'll cover those over the next two lessons. Uh, please share these with others uh, if you want. You know, try to find a few players that want to uh, get together to practice these, and maybe. Uh, play together or if you'd like to do lessons uh, let me know uh, we can get four people together and, and start if you're if you're brand new we can get you with other brand new players or you find your own and we can do some uh, private lessons with four players but uh, this is for you to study on your own and and learn learn this wonderful game it will take some study i, I would love to tell you it'd be different but it would be too easy if if it didn't take any study so um, we'll keep focusing primarily on the bidding in our in our uh, discussions here together, uh, but we will, um, you know, certainly I want you to work on the play as well and defense, you know, will be things we'll be moving into um, um, because you will be on defense plenty of the time. Um, bidding tends to be where people get the bigger hang up, so we're just going to stay focused on that, keep you working on the play on your own. And uh, we'll move into the, all the other wonderful aspects of this game. So thanks for joining me. Be sure to like, uh, subscribe, and share with others so other people can learn about these videos and I can uh, continue to uh, put them out there. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.